Hello doctors, I'm Dr. Vivek, founding member ISHR, an affiliate of World Society of Air Restoration. Dear docs, we offer advanced fellowship air restoration training to qualified doctors worldwide. So in this video, we're going to discuss one of the topics of air restoration, that is all about implantation of hair. So dear doctors, as you know, we take out the graph from here and implant it over here. So let us discuss few options available worldwide. Number one, you have to make slits, fine. So ideally is you have to first check the size of the graph which you have taken out. Is it four millimeter, five millimeter, four and a half millimeter, right? So you have to measure this in a scale. Then you may have a sapphire blade, okay, or a steel blade or a CTS blade. CTS blades are like flat, mostly. Sapphire blades are like conicals, okay? And conical steel blades are also there. So once you make incision to put the graphs, you have to measure the size of the graft as well as size of your blade, which is going to go inside. Once you've decided, you also check the width of your hair follicle. Accordingly, your blade width will be there. Okay. So how what is your blade width? So length and width have to be decided. Then you make the slits. The hairline zone, less density, then defined zone, center forelock, different angle directions, you make the slit making. Okay. So slit can be, what we prefer is sapphire slits or CTS slits is what we prefer or a semi conical blade slits. So the whole idea of slit making is less damage, more precision. And of course, if you put it straight, you may go deep and damage the blood vessels, the results will be less. So you have to be 15, 20, 25 degree here, 10, 15 degree here, 5, 5 to 10 degree here. Crown, you can be little up. So the most important part is in the, in the recipient area is slit making. So what are the best blades to make? Sapphire so blades, CTS blades, or steel conical blades. But we are coming up with a newer blades called semi-conical blade. We'll talk about in the next video. So one thing is you have to make VM with the blades. Now, a lot of clinics, unfortunately, are using 80 number needle, 90 number needle, 20 number needle. So what's the problem with that? They are going to damage more. Their holes are going to be bigger. But the most problematic part is, if I'm using 80, 90, 20 number needle, you know the bevel, bevel of 18, 19, 20 number needle? Around 5 millimeter. So my graph could be 4 millimeter, like Caucasians, 3.5 to 4, or Indian, maybe 5 millimeter, or 6 millimeter, 4.5 millimeter. So there could be different length of the hair graft. But with the needle, the problem is I'm always going only 5 millimeter. So that is wrong. I'm very precise. Plus, how do I control? Sometimes I can go 6 millimeter, sometimes I can go 4 millimeter. So there's no control. Now, when you have a exact blade like Sapphire, or a semi to blade with exact measurements of as per your graft. And there's a holder also, blade holder. So you're very precise. You're going to go that much depth only, the depth which you require to go. Not superficial, not deep. So that's very important. Measure your grafts, measure your blades, and be precise. Then there are two types of slit making, you know. One is you make your slits towards the nose. And another is ear to ear. So the coronal slits are like this. Sagittal slits are like this. So when you are having single follicles, so making slits like this. So because you have a single follicle, if I make a slit like this, then the follicle will go here, follicle will go here, I'm not been true. So we will make sagittal slits, the hair follicle going front wherever you want, sagittal slits for the hairline because you are using single follicle. But I would prefer ear to ear lateral slits when I have having two, three, four follicles, why? See, if I have four follicles and I'm making these slits, so they are one after another. So they will not look dense. But if I put in a lateral slits, four follicles, they will go like a plant, you know, outward. So they will give me better illusion of density rather than implanting like that. So my 15-20% of illusion of density will occur just by changing the slit type. So very few doctors do this, only the top ones do this, so gitals and coronals, okay? There are more detail about it, which I'll explain when you enroll with us. So one important part is the depth of your slits. See, I cannot put your hair like 90 degree. Why? Be, see, this is epidermis done as supporous tissue. Below 3.5 millimeter are the deep dermal plexus, bigger vessels. Now if I go straight, I'm going to damage the hematoma. And less blood supply to the follicle survival will be less, results will be less. So we go maximum 30 degree. 
over here 15 20 25 then 30 10 15 so we don't have to go straight we have to go this way so we don't go too deep into the dermis if i go this way i'm going to damage vessels funny so another thing is depth is important directions is important angle is important type of blade use is important precision of measurement is important then interlocking putty like bricks in the wall you must be seeing a wall near you so bricks in the wall they are interlocking pattern we don't want one after another we don't want hair follicle one after another they will not look dense but if they are interlocked they will look more dense so this is another aspects of slip making then comes different methods to implant i'm not a i'm not a fan of the uh, pen implanters why because what happens when i'm implanting with the pen there's a stillet which is pushing the graft inside there is no hole so sometimes the stillet can crush the graft. We use for 10 years a lot of this. Then we change into slit making. After slit making, you can use the blunter or a keeper blunter or a double forcep. But now, after thorough research of 15 years, I was also using, unfortunately, cherry planters too much. Okay, but then I realized when I did a proper study that now my results are 50%, 40%, 30% in brood. Because when I push, you know, the cherry planter here, uh, when I go inside and then I push the graft. So the stillet may push the graft and crush it. So I have to be here, push the graft, come out, push the graft, come out. So it is a little blind. So better it is first make the slit. The exact custom slit as per the patient's hair follicle. One, two, three, four follicles and what is the light depth. So now like a farmer, you have a lovely pits where you want to put the hairs like this. Okay, You want lovely pits where you want to put the hair. Then I would prefer either open with one forcep and put it with another forcep, or I'll still prefer my favorite one is the keep implanters. Keep implanters, what happens is if I'm putting with double forcep, maybe two follicles are going inside, but one is outside. Maybe if I'm putting with double forcep, I may hit the wall of the slit and it will turn. The hair follicle won't come. So when I have a device, okay, which is holding the graft. And I put it inside and then glide it. Okay. So for example, there's a hair follicle in this device. I go inside the slit and with the help of forcep, I just glide it. It's like kids in the you know park, the gliding. Kids glide in the swimming pool or in the park. So so there is a device. Even if the hairs are splayed, it will come inside. There's no chance of curling or anything, especially great for afro hairs, black hairs curly hairs so they want to go i inside the device my follicle we go deep then we just push this and come out so we're virtually not even touching it so the latest one is make a proper slits use keep implanters that's the latest one okay of course those who are used to double forcep kind of mind because they have become perfect with it our older friend older doctors and our friends they used to so let them do it no problem but if you're new it will take you one year to learn double forcep, but with keep implant for three months, six months, you're done. So you can train your nurses. Blunting can be done by nurses, okay? So you could train your nurses in three to six months. Double forcep training, one or two years to become perfect. So today, in this video, we discuss a little bit about what are the right methods of implanting and sleep making. More to come when you enroll with us for the fellowship program in hair restoration by ISHR, an affiliate of. World Society of Air Restoration. Remember, we train you technically best in the world. We travel the globe. We attend the best of conferences. We do our research. We are 15 year old in the business. We have a huge faculty together. Okay, We're inter interacting internationally between our friends. What is happening in the field of air restoration? Our, what, a lot of our team members are part of pioneering it, creating new methods and treatments and instruments. So we want to discuss both the technical aspects, the instrument expert, how to set up your center, how to get technicians, how to get staff in your city like Los Angeles, New York, Dubai, Kuala Lumpur, Kathmandu, Cape Town, Mumbai, Delhi. What is the scenario? What is the competition? What cost different doctors are offering? What are they offering? What do you bring more to the table? How do, what is cell FUE? What is fat hair transplant? What is biotech FUE? Okay, how do you enhance grant survival? So you have to be ahead of others. You have to be futuristic. Whatever people are thinking now and doing, you should at least have 10, 20, 30 percent more for your patients. How you can reduce your pain, how to can reduce the shedding, how to can get rid of swelling. So 
you need to be under the mentorship of some top doctors, the top faculties. Okay, so you can call one of our faculty who will guide you wherever you are, whichever age group, whichever part of the world, free of cost, one phone call with the faculty. They want to guide you. How do you shape your new hair restoration division? It's very profitable. In the Western world, five to $10,000 is a net profit per surgery. Okay, and it's epidemic now, boldness. But remember, it's only for five years. After that, in every no kid corner of the world, top plastic and top the bats will be available to offer heat transplant services and automatically the cost will reduce. Great for the patients, but more tougher for the doctors. To entry early, learn early. I know it's difficult from different parts of the world to fly to Mumbai, but that's what's stake. Not everybody have guts to do that, to leave their job, take holidays from the job, fly all over, have small kids, but the leaders take this and that's why they lead.